Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to design this t-shirt right here with Affinity Designer. Let's go! So this video is because I, I got a question on Instagram and you can um, DM me on Instagram for questions that you want to see. But this, this question is, how do I do this text effect uh, on this kind of shirt here? I'll put the example right up here. Um, and so that's how we're going to, we're going to do something similar, not exactly like it, but something similar so you can see how it's done. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. And this is the design that we're going to try and do here. Um, I've already done it, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. But before we start, um, for those that are new to the channel, my name is Juna. I'm a graphic designer. Uh, t-shirt designer. I sell t-shirts online uh, and then in on my channel I teach you how to design and sell t-shirts online so if that's something you like to do um, please give this video and other videos I have a, a like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell so you so you can get notified of the videos I have that are coming up and stay till the end of this video because I'm going to share with you another trend that is popular right now. So say to the end, I'll, I'll send, do my end or trend credits. Uh, I'll put it at the end there. All right. So here we go for the summer beach vibes here. Uh, I'm going to try and do this for you, show you how I did it. Um, first of all, you're going to need a thick font. So um, I'm going to look at my list of fonts here. Just type in summer um, here on the text tool. Start typing in S-U-M. Um, and then I'm going to go to my fonts palette. I have a bunch of fonts that I like to use here. I put it in my favorites. So you can see here, I'm going to use this Nexa Russ Sands font. You can pick whatever font you want. I'm going to make it big here and black so that you can see what it is. Boom. Um, and then I have SUM on the top and EMER on the bottom. So I'm going to just do that here for you, MER. Um, and you can see in my example here, I have them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click both of them and convert it to curves. So you can see up here in the top right, convert this to curves. What that does is now it's not text. Now it's actually an object, right? So when I come in here, if I double click on this, you'll see the points on it. So, um, and I can move this around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them closer together just so I can get um, less space in between because we want to we want to put something on it with, with the trees right so um, and I like using guides here so you can just grab the guides from the on the ruler on the left or the top here by just dragging holding down clicking and then dragging so the reason why I like to use guides let me zoom in here is so that they're nice and straight together um, I'm going to ungroup these as well so you can click ungroup here um, and then move these together close closer together like that and then when you get them all together um, group them not group them but select all of them together and then bring out that line here and bring this select all these three and you can bring it out here to the line so you can see kind of they match here and so that I'm just moving it up uh, maybe that S is too high down. So you can see how I did that. So very simple to start. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to get the right colors. So the way I got the right colors is I went on the internet and I searched um, for vintage color palette. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to get off of here, show you how I did that in vintage color palette search on Google, and then I'll come back to this one. All right, so here we are on Google. Um, you can see I just typed in vintage color palette and here are some of the images. We'll just look at images here. Um, and just click on here and choose any one. So I think I, I'm going to choose this one right here. I'm going to save it to my desktop and then we'll bring that into the, the color picker or, or to Infinity Designer and pick those colors with the color picker, right? All right, we're back here. Now we got the color palette that we took from the internet. I'm gonna zoom in here. So this isn't a vector piece yet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a rectangle tool here. You see it, I selected it. 
And we're going to kind of copy it just like that. And then when you click the um, arrow tool, hold down Option and drag, Shift and drag. So you can see that I'm making um, other ones right here, just about the same. You want to kind of push it right up against the right up against it so there's no space okay that's very important no space you can kinda almost see a space right there alright now that you have them let's drag it into the white because you can probably see the white space if there is any yeah so there's hardly any space yeah there's nothing okay so now we're just gonna grab pick the colors okay so click on the rectangle go to your color palette here hover over the color you want and click it. Okay, we're gonna do that. This is how you can pick colors from the internet. Boom. Again, this color three. You'll get really good at this um, if you do this a lot. So now I have the rectangles in vector and I'm gonna use these colors and put it in back of my summer. So we still have the guides here we're going to make it long like this here and we're going to put it in the back by clicking this move to back and even this is a really cool design already if that's all you did so but what we're going to do is we want to color these um, these letters and I'm going to show you the first one and then I'm going to fast forward because it's going to take a while to do a lot of them but I'll just do this S here and then um, you can see how it's done so this S is covering two colors so it's covering this one and this one so what we want to do is copy that S twice. So make sure we have two copies of it, I mean. So we have one here, and if you hit Command-C and then Command-V, now you can see here there's two. Look on the right here. There's this S and then this S. So we're going to also make, um, we're going to need this color two times. So we're going to need it for the S here and the M. So I'm going to do the same thing for the color. Copy V, and you can see down here that that color is copied twice, all right? And this one as well. C, V, we're actually going to need it more than twice. We're going to need it for this part of the S, this part of the U, and this part of the M. So I'm going to need it three times. So you can see here, there's three of those here. So here's how we're going to do it for the S. I'm going to click the S and the color, and then I'm going to do combine or intersect. Sorry, right here, you can see how I selected it. Intersect, and there is the S, and we're going to do this. This part of the S, this black part, and this part and intersect that and you can see how that one is selected um, now if I push this down here to the M you can see that that S now is colored that part of the S let's just do this U here uh, this U is going to be three colors so I'm going to need three of them so I'm going to do four um, right there I did it really quick and then we're going to do this U with that color intersect just so you can see when I pull this down there's the S S is like that okay so I'll fast forward this part so you won't have to do it, but that's how you're going to do all the letters. Just copy, make sure that um, we have enough letters to go around with the colors, and then we'll, we'll turn out like that, and I'll see you when we get there. All right, so we did it. So all this is colored now. You can see it's a lot like the one that I did here. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the palm trees. So. I have palm trees here from a previous clip art. They're vectors. You can see they're, um, it's going to be good if you can get it like that. You can get your vector palm trees anywhere on the internet. Creative Market have some for sale. You can get it from iStock Photo. Wherever you are want to get it from, go ahead. You can build your own. I showed you how to build some palm trees, I think, in another video. I'll put that link up there. But in this case, I'm using these palm trees. Um, and you're going to see why. It needs to be vector. We're going to just put it here. Um, let's make it a little bigger. Yeah, like that. I'm going to put it in the front so you can see it. I'm doing it right on the line so it kind of gives it that natural line. See how that there's the line here on the M? So I'm just going to put it right there. There's this line here um, on the E. So I'm just going to put it there. There's this natural line here on the R and between the R and the E here. I'm going to put that there. This one doesn't really have one. I'm just going to put it at the edge here. All right. 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to do the opposite. Instead of intersect, we're going to knock it out. So I'll show you how to do it with this one first palm tree here. And then I'm going to fast forward through all these other palm trees so we can get the idea. All right. Oh, and let's get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. All right. So here's how we're going to do it with the palm tree, which is we're going to use one of these other ones here. So this palm tree, you can see it's intersecting this top of the S. That's one. This side of the S, this right side, that's two and this three, so we're gonna need three copies of this. So I'm gonna copy this and do it two more times. So when I click on the palm tree and click on the S, I'm gonna use this instead of intersect, I'm gonna use subtract. Now this only works if we're subtracting the one in the front from the back. So since the palm tree's in the front, I can subtract it from the S in the back, and it does that. Now you can't see it right now, but you'll see it later when I, when I do the rest. So I'm gonna do this one. Um, and that S and minus it, and then this one and this M and minus it, and you'll see now that there's not it's knocked out. You see that it it knocks it out of there. And the reason why we want to do that, I'll go back here. If we change the background color of this, you can see that it still works. So it will work on a black shirt, a gray shirt, a blue shirt. So that's why we want to do that. So I'll fast forward here. I'll do all this these other palm trees, and you'll see how it comes out. All right, here we go. So I knocked all the trees out from the letters. You can see it here. Um, just to double check, um, you might wanna put this back here. You might've seen me do that in the, um, in the fast forward, but I just moved this in the back. You can kinda just double check, uh, is there anything that I'm missing? No, it looks great. Um, last step is this beach vibes here. That's just text. Um, I like to use kind of a handwritten font. So I'll show you which one I use. It's another one of my favorites. Um, and it is this glorious Sunday title. Um, again, we're gonna use these guides. I'm gonna type out beach um, vibes here. And then just use the guides again here to make sure that it's all centered and within. And then I picked this color here, which is not hard. Just do that. You're familiar with that. Boom. That's it right there. Uh, and put the background behind it. Black. Boom. See that? You can do it. It's that easy. So all you need is some palm trees, good fonts, and the ability to knock it out and intersect. And that's how you do this t-shirt. Hope you guys like this. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, after this, I'm going to, don't, don't forget, uh, now that you made it to the end, um, we're going to show you the end of the trend credits, I like to call it. Hopefully that catches on. But if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and, and click on that notification bell so you can see more of these and get notified on when I drop a new video. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks for standing, staying till the end for our trend credits. Um, here's my trend for today. This is August um, 27th um, when, is when I'm recording this. So this may not be a trend when you're watching it, but it is right now in August 27, 2020. Um, here's the trend. Keep the immigrants, deport the races. You can see here it is showing up um, in autocomplete. I'm going to start. Well, I got to spell keep, right? Keep the immigrants, deport the racist t-shirts. Um, you can see it's pulling up in there. The results are low, 147. Let's look at the BSRs. This one's, oh, that's Black Lives Matter. Um, this one's getting a 35,000, really low, 43, 22,000. So you can see these are selling currently. They have low BSRs. Let's check the competition, competition checker. I'm trying to rush through this. Um, in Merchant Former, it's getting a B. There's you know, a lot of products online, 81. You can see this one's getting 95 estimated sales, not 59 estimated sales, 51, like these are selling right now. So um, there's your trend um, tip of the day at the end of video, trend credits. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, guys, keep creating and keep learning. Bye.